all over the world as the prophet said it would be all over the world there's a mighty revelation of the glory of the Lord as the waters cover the sea deep down in my heart the spirit is moving deep down in my heart as the prophet said it would be deep down in my heart there's a mighty revelation of the glory of the Lord as the waters cover the sea Mass intentions Thanksgiving masses offered by Natasha de Souza for the intentions of Augustine and Mercy for a successful operation and for the intentions of Reagan Fernandez Mans mind mass of Buddha Dev Baruha for the souls of Teresa Cornelio and departed members of family Joe Dias Lawrence and Doris de Souza Thomas Fernandez Rosario and Margaret Sequera Michael Fernandez and departed members of family Sister Ma Pilar Fernandez Piaded Ezekiel Farao Peter and Alfred Lobo Felix and Thomas Fernandez Vanon Carvalho and David Mary and Luis Rodriguez for the departed members of Suarez and Cross families and for the souls in purgatory in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen the lord be with you and with your spirit sisters and brothers today the church commemorates the martyrdom of sister rani maria who was assassinated a multiple times in the year 1917 why was she assassinated assassinated maria was working in indore as a missioner and she was working for the upliftment of poor laborers and poor people and the rich jamindars the rich land owners relented her work and through a higher assassin they got rid of her she is an inspiration to many missioners who work in persecuted places and today she is an inspiration for us also that we may also have a concern and love for the poor in our own way for the times we have failed to acknowledge Christ in our lives for the times we have failed to be witnesses of his love to others we ask the lord pardon and forgiveness lord jesus you came to gather the nations to the father lord have mercy lord have mercy who came to call sinners to repentance christ have mercy christ have mercy you have chosen us to be witnesses of your love to the world lord have mercy lord have mercy and may almighty god have mercy upon us forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life amen let us pray grant we pray almighty god that we may follow with due devotion the faith of blessed rani maria who for spreading the faith merited the crown of martyrdom to our lord jesus christ your son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the holy spirit one god forever and ever amen
A reading from the letter of St. James. Do not grumble against one another, brothers, so that you may not be judged. Behold, the judge is standing at the door. As an example of suffering and patience, brothers, take the prophets who spoke in the name of the Lord. Behold, we consider those blessed who remain steadfast. You have heard of the steadfastness of Job, and you have seen the purpose of the Lord, how the Lord is compassionate and merciful. But above all, my brothers, do not swear, either by heaven or by earth or by any other oath, but let your yes be yes and your no be no, so that you may not fall under condemnation. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Your response will be, The Lord is compassionate and gracious. The Lord, the Lord is, is compassionate and gracious. and gracious. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all within me, His holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and never forget all His benefits. The Lord is compassionate and gracious. It is the Lord who forgives all your sins, who heals every one of your ills, who redeems your life from the grave, who crowns you with mercy and compassion. The Lord is compassionate and gracious. The Lord is compassionate and gracious, slow to anger and rich in mercy. He will not always find fault nor persist in his anger forever. The Lord is compassionate and gracious. For as the heavens are high above the earth, so strong his mercy for those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far from us does he remove our transgressions. The Lord is compassionate and gracious. We prepare our hearts for the Holy Gospel. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Your word, O Lord, is truth. Sanctify us in the truth. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory be to you, O Lord. At that time, Jesus went to the region of Judea and beyond Jordan, and crowds gathered to him again. And again, as was his custom, he taught them. And Pharisees came up and, in order to test him, asked, Is it lawful for a man to divorce his wife? He answered them, what did Moses command you? They said Moses allowed a man to write a certificate of divorce and to send her away. And Jesus said to them, Because of your hardness of heart, he wrote you this commandment. But from the beginning of creation, God made them male and female. Therefore a man shall leave his father and mother and hold fast to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. So they are no longer two, but one flesh. What therefore God has joined together, let not man separate. And in the house the disciples asked him again about this matter, and he said to them, Whoever divorces his wife and marries another commits adultery against her. And if she divorces her husband and marries another, she commits adultery. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Lord Jesus Christ. My dear sisters and brothers, 
the background for today's gospel passage is that John the Baptist was beheaded because he publicly denounced the marriage of King Herod with his brother's wife and John lost his head and with the same intention to trap Jesus the Pharisees and the scribes come and question Jesus is it lawful? they know the answer but Jesus quotes the law of creation he goes to Genesis and it is in the book of Genesis he says it was not God's plan to divide he emphasizes on unity in marriage my dear sisters and brothers we know it is a challenge for people to live together in marriage it's a challenge to live the ideals of marriage and one of the main reasons could be is because of human selfishness instead of growing from selfishness to selflessness we grow worse and worse in selfishness but James has a solution for us he wants us not to grumble against each other try to understand each other try to help each other encourage each other and always remember God's act towards us because God is always gracious always generous always merciful towards us and in the same way he wants us to be merciful gracious just like God is slow to anger and rich in mercy so, so shall we be rich, slow to anger towards others and rich in mercy towards others my dear sisters and brothers we know that the rate of divorces are increasing but the church wants us not to condemn, not to judge people who are separate, who are living in difficult relationship. But the church wants us to pray for them. If possible, help them to reconcile with one another. But the main thing that we can do as Christians, as part of the community, as a church, to pray for them, that they may come closer to God and heal the wounds that are existing in their lives. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this bread to offer you. Fruit of the earth, work of human hands, still become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine to offer you. Fruit of the wine work of human hands to become for us a spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my dear sisters and brothers, that this my sacrifice in yours may be acceptable to God our loving Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. As we commemorate the martyrdom of Blessed Rani Maria, O Lord, we make our offerings at your altar, praying that we who celebrate the mysteries of our Lord's passion may imitate what we now do through Christ our Lord. Amen.
The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for the blood of your blessed martyr Rani Maria poured out like Christ to glorify your name, shows forth your marvelous works by which in our weakness you perfect your power. and on the feeble bestow strength to bear you witness through Christ our lord and so with the powers of heaven we worship you constantly on earth and before your majesty without end we acclaim holy 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 lord god of hosts heaven heaven and earth are Full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest, Hosanna in the highest, Hosanna in the highest, Holy is the Lord. Blessed, blessed is he who comes. In the name of the Lord blessed blessed is he who comes in the name of God Hosanna in the highest Hosanna in the highest Hosanna in the highest Holy is the Lord You are indeed holy O Lord the fount of all holiness Make holy the for this gift we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion he to bread and giving you thanks he broke it and gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you In a similar way when supper was ended he took the chalice and once more giving thanks he gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me The mystery of faith save our savior of the world for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free therefore we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection we offer you lord the bread of life and a chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in our presence and minister to you humbly we pray that partaking of the body and bread of Christ we may be gathered into one by the holy spirit remember lord your church spread to all the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with francis our pope as well as our bishop and all the clergy Remember also our brothers and sisters that have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy welcome them into the light of your face have mercy on us all we pray that with the blessed virgin mary mother of god saint joseph our chaste spouse with the blessed apostles and all the saints sister mary rani maria and who have pleased you throughout the ages we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and praise and glorify you through your son jesus christ 
Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the service, command and found by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we wait to blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to the apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant us peace and unity in accordance with your will. Who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. We offer each other this sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are we who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Spiritual Communion Prayer My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. As we celebrate the heavenly banquet, we beseech you, O Lord, that in following such a great example of faith, we may be encouraged by the remembrance of the blessed martyr, Rani Maria, and led on by her gracious intercession through Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer in times of coronavirus. Mother of perpetual help, with the greatest confidence, we come before your holy picture to beseech your intercession. We think of you, Mother, at the foot of the cross. Your heart must have bled to see your son in agony, but your joy was great when he rose from the dead, victorious over the powers of evil. Mother of sorrows, pray for us in this time of trial. Help us not to lose heart. Intercede for your people who are afflicted with coronavirus. Comfort your people who are vulnerable and anxious. Protect healthcare workers who put their lives at risk. Inspire our leaders to make good decisions. Change our hearts so that we may act responsibly. Teach us to trust in God's love and mercy and to share with you the joy of having courageously faced up to all the challenges of life. Amen. Mother of perpetual help, 
Pray for us. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. Kindly join in the recessional hymn, Great and Mighty. Great and mighty is the Lord our God. Great and mighty is He. Great and mighty is the Lord our God. Great and mighty is He. Lift up the banner, let the anthem ring. Praises to our King. Great and mighty is the Lord our God. Great and mighty is He. <laughs> 